who's finally back. Oh, and if you are new here to my channel, I am Pinna Palmer and I like to keep everything pink and spooky. Yeah. Anywho, if you already could tell by my thumbnail, I am turning myself into Elaine from The Love Witch. Just a pretty woman to love and to take care of that. If you guys haven't seen this movie, this is a recent kind of campy movie that came out and it was set to look like it was made in the 1960s and it actually tricked me. I'm not gonna lie. Hoodwick! Yeah. Bamboozle! Yeah. Apparently I've never seen this vintage film and I was like, I must see it. So I turn it on. Everything is looking 1960s. Like I'm like, yep, this is a 1960s B film that just, I don't know, somehow I seem to have missed it through the years. And I slowly started just kind of going, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my God, this film was made today to make it look like 1960s. Duh. It is incredible. So like aesthetic wise, this film is absolutely insane. It tricked me so hard, but honestly, what did it for me is one of my little buddies online, April, right here, she's the burlesque dancer in this film. And I was like, wait, 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 who is that? I know her, oh God. No, this is not a vintage film, this is modern. Once I watched this movie, I was totally enamored. I totally got the campy, bizarre 60s kind of feeling to it. The very acid trip it kind of had sometimes. Also that 60s era where you get a lot of, you know, a lot of, how do I put this? Devil worship? Satan. Because of Anton LaVey. I mean, he used to hang out with all the celebrities back in the day, like, well, Jane Mansfield was part of a, you know, the Hall of Satan. And also, what's his name from the Rat Pack was totally in this group. So they did a lot of creepy, weird stuff that is absolutely in this movie. You know, fate and stuff. <laughs> Anywho, let's show you how to get the Love Witch is, is, is look. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Behold the monster! <laughs> Bath-faced and... What the... <laughs> is... is my shirt on? Is my shirt on backwards? What a mess. All right, let's get this started, shall we? So now that your face is clean, I'm just gonna start with the milk hydro grip primer just to get it nice and sticky and tacky on my face before we put on foundation so for the foundation i'm using revlon's color stay longwear makeup in the color 250 and i'm just kind of spreading that around with my fingers a little bit before i get a damp wet sponge and pat it into my skin yes i know it's a little yellow for my skin tone i'm trying to match my neck not my natural skin tone okay thank y'all all right once you're done applying your foundation i'm gonna go now in with concealer this concealer is charlotte tilbury's beautiful skin radiant <laughs> concealer and uh it's in the color jesus yes something pasty it's in the color fair number one look at that cool i like putting it here i'm gonna put a lot because you know she's kind of a cartoony character and it's the 60s and they wore a lot of makeup in the 60s i always go like up with it too around like my nose area like laugh line a little bit there almost like if i was in the musical pets a little bit on my chin and i just kind of put it as like a pre-primer on my lid <laughs> why does why does anybody put trust in me when I do makeup? How? I don't know. How? I promise you're gonna look gorgeous. And then I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty sponge. Mm hmm And I just kind of carry it up. Because I want to lift the face. I'm in denial that I am aging. Because I am at the ripe age of 23. <laughs> Shut up, Ted. Let's get some contour a little bit just to kind of warm up the face again. I don't want to put a lot of contour. She's more focused on blush than contour, but I just want to give myself just a little bit of help. I'm going to use the Maybelline New York 4-in-1 Glow Makeup Perfector in the shade Jesus. Jesus! What? Yes. What? You, what? you said what? Nothing. I don't know. Medium. 
this this guy it's got a cool twisty look at that it comes out of there like a little egg at least i think it does you're really not good at this for the contour, I put it on the high points of my cheekbones, around my jawline, and a little bit on my forehead just to kind of warm up the face. And leave it like this and blend it out. So once you are done with your foundation, I'm just going to go right into contouring of the nose. I'm going to bring up a picture here of her. And uh, she's got a tiny, snatched, perfect little nose. Of course she does, because she is what? The love witch. My nose doesn't look like that. It sure doesn't. But we are going to try and make it look like that. Kind of a brush that looks like this. Mm, you know, like a little doe foot. I'm going to go into a contour here. This is just a Ben Nye contour in powder blush in L11. It looks like something like that. I have a small bridge, but I want to continue that small bridge down my nose. So this is how we do it. So here's like my bridge, right? I'm going to keep following that line and I'm going to just continue that thing straight down, all the way down. And I'm going to really focus it though around this area. Don't be afraid that you have two big bars on your face. This is beauty. This is glamour. And um, I promise it'll all look normal in the end. Sure, Jan. Now that we have kind of the thinness that I want, I'm going to make it shorter. And how I do that is I take the same brush and I just go on the highest point there and I just kind of take it down. See, look at that, it like cut my nose in half. After you have your contour on your nose mapped out, go ahead and blend it out with a beauty sponge and lightly just kind of blend it into your skin and kind of smooth out the harsh edges. Once you are done with the contour part, go ahead and find a vanilla eyeshadow. And eat it. Put that vanilla eyeshadow on the side of your nose, right down the center of your nose, and on the highest point of the tip. And what we're gonna do with that vanilla shade is make a line straight across on the highest point of your tip of your nose. And then after you're done with that, go ahead and blend that out with the beauty sponge. I'm gonna take Joa in soft brown here and she's got pretty thin eyebrows. Um, they kind of have a slight arch. They're pretty square towards the center of her nose. In hindsight, I would have went with a darker eyebrow pencil. So if you have a darker brown, use that instead. There, that's the difference. I'm gonna go do this other eyebrow on the other side and I'll be right back. Definitely cousins, not sisters, but that is okay. I am going to put on a crap ton of powder. Uh, this is Fenty Beauty in the color Butter. And uh, I'm gonna put a heavy amount underneath my eyes because this look requires blue eyeshadow. And if we know anything about blue eyeshadow, it gets everywhere, so. I'm gonna just dip into the Fenty Beauty. Oh, and I love the smell of this too. It smells like, like vanilla, like vanilla butter. I'm gonna put a lot of it like that because I, I wanna sweep it away. It's not so much baking, it's more of like protecting my face because I didn't do the eyeshadow first. A lot of people do, you know, smart people, uh, but I am not one of those. <laughs> Oh, we know. For the powder, I am concentrating a lot of it underneath my eye just so I can sweep it away later. I put a little bit down my laugh lines and over my top lip, a little bit on my chin, and just a dab of it on my forehead just to get rid of that shine. With all the powder in the air, it honestly looks like it's snowing. I feel like I'm in a scene from Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> now that there's dust particles everywhere, let's go in with that blue eyeshadow. This actually scares me. So let's bring up a picture of her here. Bam! That's the one that we're looking at. So as you can see, she has the very like stereotypical 60s turquoise blue, intense blue eyeshadow. For that color, I'm gonna be using ColourPop Malibu Barbie. Malibu Barbie. For the base eyeshadow color, I am using the color Malibu Memories. It is a matte turquoise and I'm gonna apply that heavily on the lid of my eye. Do not go higher than your crease. And for the shape of it, try to keep it as round as possible and don't wing it out. Once you're done with the base of your eyeshadow, just to darken up the crease just a little bit, I'm gonna go into the Blue Blood Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I'm gonna go into the shade Power, which is kind of like a navy matte shade. 
And I'm going to take that in my crease and just kind of round out those edges and make it as thin as possible. Don't blend it up, don't blend it down. I'm just darkening that crease. Once you're done with the crease, to add just a little bit of pop, I'm going to go into the Jeffree Star Cosmetics once again and go into the color I'm Cold and mix it with Cullen, which is like a white, pearly, iridescent color. And I'm Cold is a light, light blue. And I'm gonna mix those two together and put that just on the center of my lid and a little bit in my inner corners. So we're going to take this little brush again and we're going to go into blue blood and power just a little bit. It's kind of more like a darker blue. Take this darker blue color and keep it close to your bottom lash line. Once again, I apologize for my face when I put on eyeliner, but go ahead and take a white eyeliner and put it in your waterline. Buffy, it's hideous. For the top eyeliner, get any old black liquid eyeliner and make a very thick line across your lid and wing it up and out. Make it as thick as possible. It's the 60s. And uh, before I go any further in the eye makeup, I actually have some eye contacts that I think might work. So let's put them on, shall we? Good. These brown eye contacts are massive um but they'll do <laughs> even though i'm gonna probably creep you out the rest of the video <laughs> anywho moving on so next up is the eyelashes i'm just gonna focus on the top eyelashes and bottom eyelashes later so i'm gonna go in with this eyelash crimper and just give them a good crimp for a second all right, once you're done with the eyelash crimper, now it's time for mascara. And my mascara is, where is my mascara? Where did I put it? Where is it? Ted, I told you to stay out of my makeup. Thank you though. Anywho, this is the Daphne Beauty mascara that Ted likes to wear. And uh, we're gonna be using this today. Yes, the Daphne Beauty mascara. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry about that. Go ahead and take your liquid eyeliner and put it in the corner of your eye and connect it to the bottom. And with the same eyeliner, gently put it on the bottom lash line. Keep it as close to your lash line as you can. Do not make it thick. Just lightly spread it across your eye. So we kind of get that white dark definition and no other color leave it at that to finish the eyes go heavy on the bottom eyelashes with your mascara if you don't have enough eyelashes that's okay take your liquid eyeliner and gently draw little wisps of eyelashes down your eye now it's time for eyelashes today we are using kiss these are the eco-friendly eyelashes they look something like this i'm gonna use that today <sighs> Cool, I kind of like that. And I'm just gonna take a bit of mascara and just kind of wing these out on the edges. Just to kind of put a little, cause I want it really heavy on the edges there. <laughs> right now I look like the other woman in the movie, the redhead who is trying on all her makeup while she's away rather than the love witch. <laughs> I look more like her, <laughs> especially with my red hair. This is not helping. <laughs> Eyelashes are dry. You can kind of still see them or they're just kind of sitting in place, but let's move on to cheeks. So for cheeks, let's bring up a picture here of her. She has really low placed blush and it's kind of a peachy pink. So today I'm gonna to be using Sephora's color matte matte pink. And I think the color is called Over the Moon. It's very like purpley pink. And then I'm also gonna go into the Blue Blood palette in the colors Untouchable and Priceless because I want kind of like that orangey pink because I don't have a normal orangey pink blush for some reason, but today we're gonna to improvise. Since I don't have peach blush, do your best to find the peachiest blush you can at a Sephora or your fellow drugstore because I did not have time. And also in hindsight too, you cannot see the blush as much as it was in person. The lights are really blinding it out. But just know there is a lot there. Clown. 
Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna use a couple different colors here. I'm gonna use a Ben Nye lip color in the color brown. You'll see why. And I'm gonna go in with Revlon and the color is 674 Coral Berry. Uh, let's bring up a picture of her lips here. So let's get into it, shall we? For this lip liner, I am keeping her Cupid's bow pretty small up at top. I'm kind of whitening out the corners of my lips a little bit. And uh, once I'm satisfied, I kind of blend in the lip liner into the middle of my lip, just for some color shading. Cool. Now that the lip liner's done, I'm gonna take this color Ooh. and put it on my nipples. I'm just kidding, my lips. <laughs> I am going to throw up. This is pretty self-explanatory, but go ahead and put the lip color all over your lips. Nothing like painting your teeth, right? Pop in a little bit of highlighter in the middle. For the center highlighter for my lips, I am diving into the Malibu Barbie ColourPop palette in the color Vintage Doll. And there we have it, the finished makeup look. Ooh. Nah. Let's go put on a wig. Let's put on a wig cap, shall we? I'm just gonna do it the lazy way. Twist, plop, hold it in place. <sighs> the hell is the top to this thing? Cut. Well, here is the final look to my Valentine's Day look of Elaine from The Love Witch. I really enjoyed this and I hope you guys did too. Please leave a comment down below of a look that maybe you would like to see me try in the near future. All right, guys. So this is the finished look of The Love Witch. I hope you guys really liked it because I had fun. I hope you did too. Anyways, I hope you guys have a lovely Valentine's Day. I know I will maybe. It's February, the season of love. And if you don't have somebody to love, that's okay. Maybe you could put like a spell on them or something and they can fall in love with you. Then they get crazy. Then you have to kill them and then bury them. And then you're alone again. No, just me. Anywho, I am Pinna Palmer. Don't forget to click the like button down below. Click subscribe, hit the bell to notify yourself that I just uploaded a new video. And I'll see you next time, Glamour Ghouls. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Mm -hmm.